Hello, my name is Nicola Smith and I want to share a little bit about the practice of orientation and why it's used within somatic experiencing. So within the context of a somatic experiencing session, we spend time orientating at the beginning of a session and then orientating at the end of the session. What is orientation? Quite simply, it's knowing where we are in relationship to things. We use it every day. We're going to cross the road. We look around, we make sure there's nothing coming. We know where we are in relationship to the pavement. If the space is clear, then we cross. So why do we use it within the context of an SE session? Well, very simply, it's a way of bringing us really readily into the experience of this present moment. And it's from being more fully and more comfortably in the here and now that we can then safely enter into a therapeutic um, process and a therapeutic relationship. How do we do it? The first thing that we do is we slow down. So we can try a little bit of orientation right now if you would like to join me. So as you're listening to this, notice where you are in your space. Are you sitting? Are you standing? Are you lying? And check what's around you. Are you in a known space or an unknown space? Do you need to look around you in order to feel more settled, more comfortable? Do you need to feel into like, I don't know, what is my body like on the seat or standing? How can I become more comfortably here? So what we do is we start to pay attention to how we feel and we begin to make little adjustments if we notice that it's not very comfortable when I sit with my weight shifted on one side. Actually, when I have the weight down through both buttocks and sit bones, I notice that my breathing changes. I might notice that as I shift my attention to a different part of the room, that I, ha, ah, I smile because I've seen something that really catches my attention or there will be a quality of relaxation in my muscles as I look out the window at that expansive view in front of me instead of the mess on the kitchen counter. So we have a choice about how we position ourselves in a space and what we choose, where we choose to place our attention. And we can experiment. You can do this as you settle into your workspace, as you go and visit a friend, as you enter a new environment, is if we take a little bit of time to slow down and just to check in with ourselves. Is there anything that I need to do right now that would make me feel more comfortable? And then how do I know for myself that I feel more comfortable. So the cues that, that I use are my quality of my breathing. Am I holding my breath or oh, there's a bit of time and room to breathe. The quality of my muscles, particularly for me around my shoulders and the position of oh, is there uh, is there something that happens where I notice that I soften a little bit? The 
other cue that I use is where is my weight? So something's very different for me when I enter a new space and I feel the weight on my toes to when I feel the weight drop back into my heels. And you can try that on your, on your bottom, on your sitting bones. Of, is the body moving forward in space? Is it, is it dropping back into a feeling of well, being in your centre? Or is it slumped all the way back behind you? So that kind of repositioning can change how comfortable, how at ease, how settled, how present you feel being in this moment in time the other thing that we can use is our gaze so we can be aware of does the gaze really harden or does the gaze soften so that we can take in a little bit more periphery and there's no right or wrong to any of these explorations it's simply information gathering like what works best for us in any given moment in time The other important factor in opening a somatic experiencing session is also orientating towards the other person. So that's how are we in relationship to one another, me as the uh, facilitator practitioner or any other person in the room. Do we like to sit very close together? Do we prefer to be further apart? Is it more comfortable having someone sit on one side or another of you? Do you like to have your back to the door and your um, front into the space? Maybe we have never thought about this before. So we take time at the beginning of every session because our nervous system is different at the beginning of every session to find what is this mammalian part of myself, what does that part of myself need? So if we've got cats or dogs, pets, we will see them orientate and we will see them go round and round and settle and settle until such time as they feel really comfortable. So it's a, it's a life tool that you can try out at any given moment and see how it works for you. <laughs>